What do all these different materials, forms, parts and flat pieces have in common? They're electrostatically flocked. Flocking is used in all industries and in many sectors. To apply paint, to clean or in cutlery drawers. It's also often used in luxury packaging or in technical applications for the car industry. The car windows glide smoothly thanks to flocked rubber channels. Storage drawers or glove compartments are flocked to reduce noise. And the good old nodding doggy in the rear window looks so good thanks to flock. The most beautiful motifs are being flocked. Superb seating comfort in the car is made possible thanks to flocked yarn. These are extremely durable and allow for an airy seating as one sits on the soft fiber tips only. And depending on the kind of weaving, interesting patterns can be produced. Flock has its established place in the world of fashion as well. Whether festive evening dresses or sports shirts, flock print always embellishes. Technically, flock offers a lot of advantages. This screwdriver has an especially good grip and allows a far stronger power transfer, thanks to flock. This flocked book cover in the Biedermeyer period style is made much nobler and precious. How does flocking function? An electrical field is generated between two poles and the field lines always hit the surface perpendicularly. Therefore, if the two poles are sheets, the field lines will run in a right angle to the surface area and parallel to each other. If flock fibers are introduced into this field, they'll be charged at the high voltage electrode on the right, fly to the earthed counter electrode where they'll unload their charge and will be pulled back by the high voltage electrode. If adhesive is applied partially to the earthed electrode as shown in green, the flock fibers are perpendicularly drawn into the adhesive and anchored there. Practically by the power of the electrostatic field, millions of fibers fly from the applicator shown on the left to the earthed plate on the right. If at first the applicator is slightly shaken without electrostatic force, the flock slowly falls downwards. As soon as the high voltage is switched on, the flock fibers fly in great quantities and with high speed towards the counter pole, discharge and fly back or even sideways out of the electrical field. Electrostatic flocking can also be carried out against force of gravity from bottom to top. Flock fibers rest on the lower earthed plate once the electrode, as shown in yellow, is connected to high voltage, the fibers rise up, charge themselves electrically, and shoot vertically into the earthed formed part, which has been coated with adhesive. Like a big fog, the fibers, which are electrically charged, whirl upwards, and, being aligned, fly onto the part to be flocked, which is rapidly flocked all over, like velvet. For the flocking of motifs, the adhesive is applied through a screen printing frame, whereby it's evenly doctored through the screen. A sufficiently thick adhesive coat must be applied. Then, by flocking, the design is made very visible. Flock sticks to the adhesive, while on the adhesive-free areas, it's discharged and flies back. Another method is the full surface spraying with adhesive on sheets or formed parts. Here, flock adheres onto the entire surface previously coated with adhesive. Big cavities or hollow spaces, such as glove compartments in cars, cannot be flocked electrostatically. Due to Faraday's law, it's not possible to create an electrical field within hollow spaces. 
the solution calls for a combination of electrostatic and pneumatic flocking. That is, the flock fibers are blown through the high voltage into the hollow space by an airstream, where they anchor themselves perpendicularly into the adhesive because of their electrical charge. With such formed parts, the adhesive is precisely and evenly sprayed onto the part, which is then flocked by the flock nozzle containing the ball electrode, which is electrostatically charged. The individual processing steps will be explained using the example of a flocking plant for continuous roll-to-roll -roll material. First of all, adhesive is applied onto the substrate to be flocked either with a coating blade or by spraying onto the continuous material by template coating or some such method. This is immediately followed by the electrostatic or eventually the combination of electrostatic with mechanical flocking into the still wet adhesive, followed by the pre-cleaning. Then comes the adhesive drying, most commonly done at high temperatures and with a strong air movement. Finally comes the cooling of the material with the final cleaning which removes the flock surplus by brushing off, exhausting or blowing off. The flocking process in the electrostatic field during the flocking of flat stock. In the electrostatic pneumatic field during the flocking of profile channels and in the purely electrostatic field during the flocking of formed parts.